welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm still in Clarny and I've come to a location that I've never actually been to before. It's called Tommy's Wood and we're going to a place called O'Sullivan's Cascade. And it's been recently actually developed to help people to get in here a bit easier because before it used to be an old track, now it's a proper road with a proper car park that you can actually get into. So it's actually very handy. It's only about a one kilometer walk through this absolutely stunning wood. And apparently it's one of the oldest um, woodlands of Killarney and I can probably see why some of these trees here are absolutely beautiful. A guy called Mally Davis would actually be in his element here. I was not expecting to stumble upon this. There's an oak tree just through there. He's getting on but there's so many little scenes and then this waterfall. Element here Mally I think you'd love these just have a look at these trees. If there was great light on these, which there isn't unfortunately today, I think the place would really, really lift. But yeah, that's where we're going anyway today. We're going to O'Sullivan's Cascade for some waterfall photography. Moving up now to this location, it's not actually the main area that people go to. We walked a bit further on towards a bridge and then there's these first set of cascades that are there. Nonetheless, I do think these are nice. Now as well on the way, I took out the camera because this woodland is absolutely beautiful. So I was grabbing some handheld shots and I got a small bit of light that broke through momentarily. So I was glad to have the camera out and as well to be able to grab a couple of shots anyway along the way. But I'm going to can take a composition from here actually while I'm here so I'm going to swap out there now to the wide angle lens and I'm going to go down below me here try and frame up a composition and um, yeah once I find it if I find a nice one anyway I'll talk you through then my thought process for that shot. Here's my composition here now, and if I zoom in here just to give you a bit of a better view, you may be able to see it. If I just take these items off the screen, so you can see here I'm using fo focus peaking, and I've got the cascade that's starting on the left-hand side here, and then coming up and ending up the right-hand side here of the frame. And because there's not much light as well, I'm able to not have any filters on. So at the moment I'm shooting at f8, and I'm at a quarter of a second, and that's enough to be able to keep the texture within the water but also give you a nice bit of movement within it and also have the image as well sharp as you can see with everything gone red here within the screen. I've also gone for an f11 I went up to a half a second don't know which one I prefer I'll look at it when I get back in fact I'll show you both images from here and let me know what your thoughts are and now from here I'm going to head up over this direction uh, up here so up behind the camera on the right hand side here there's these uh, like in a crisscross like this uh, of branches with another cascade above it. So I'm going to go up to that now. I'll give you a look at these shots and then we'll head up for the next composition. Now when I arrived to this particular spot in the woods, what immediately struck me, besides the horrendous smell of some rotting animal, was just how much it reminded me of all those videos I'd watched with Adam Gibbs and Gavin Harcastle, when they would be exploring the stunning areas of Vancouver Island in Canada. The lush greens, the two fallen trees, 
crisscrossing each other with the flow of the waterfall beneath them and then the stunning waterfall above. All I was short was the rays of light lifting the scene, but alas, I didn't have those. Nonetheless, I set about trying to find my composition, and after removing the camera from the tripod and finding my composition handheld, I quickly realised that I was going to have to get creative with my leg spreading to ensure that I was going to be able to get the tripod back in position to get the most from the scene. The crisscrossing of the logs, while stunning, were positioned blocking one of the smaller cascades to the right. Here is my composition next and I'll take you through my thought process. Well, I have my camera in a very precarious position uh, at the moment, but tried to get another tripod in behind to give you a look at my composition and what I've decided to do is to go onto my main camera here now and record some videos. So the frame is slightly different. The waterfall there is cut off. You can see a bit more in the actual frame, but it goes into a wider view for the video. But what I want to do is I want to show you my composition for two things. Number one, I have, as you can see here, this coming up this side and then this one coming up this side. And they're then meeting at this point right here with the waterfall that's there. Now I have a bit more above my finger is still within the frame, but not obviously on the video. But what I also want to show you here is if you see the bottom of the frame here where you've got that big sheen, this is how important and how powerful a polarizer can be. So I'm going to spin the polarizer here now. And if you look at that bottom part, you'll see it gradually getting darker, the shine going away, and eventually the shine will disappear completely. Now what that does then as well is it gives you a much, much better image. It also brings out the colors more within the frame and the natural colors that are there as well also. So you can see now the darkness that's there. When I take that shot, you'll be pretty much able to see into the water. But if I now just spin that and continue to go past it, you'll see here, you get to see none of that without your polarizer and it's all basically a sheen. So yeah, that's my composition anyway here. My settings at the moment are on a uh, quarter of a second. I still don't have any filters on, don't need them today, but I'm going to bring the polarizer back around now here. And then once it's all the way back around, we'll see that sheen will disappear and that then will be my image. So yeah, give you a look at my image now and then I'll try and find another one in this stunning area in Killarney. No slipping now, no slipping. So we've reached the main prize now, which is O'Sullivan's Cascade. And it is an absolutely stunning waterfall, to be fair. And as I was walking up the pathway, because there's a pathway that you can walk up here, which will probably come to again the moment you get closer to the main waterfall. But this area here really caught my attention. So I scrambled down the bank, got down as far as here. And what I've done is I've composed the shot with this water on the bottom left hand side of the frame. And as it winds up towards the waterfall in the distance, now, it's got a bit brighter as well. The sun is now gone, but when I was shooting a moment ago, it got a bit brighter, so I had to put on my 0.9 ND grad just to be able to control the brightness. Not only that's coming from the sky, but also from the water, because it is quite a dark scene. Now, with the composition as well, I'm not overly fond of the dark areas here below me on the right-hand side, so I've kind of moved over a bit to the left to see if I can get a composition there. But then there's a big boulder that's sat right here 
and that blocks the view then of the waterfall in the distance. But yeah, a nice shot. Uh, settings at the moment here is f11, quarter of a second actually, so I'm not going for my preferred half a second, it's just too much. I'm able to keep the detail in the water as well. And I think that's a lovely shot in a portrait orientation, obviously, and with the camera as well, angled down to be able to extenuate the foreground and then push and stretch the waterfall that's at the top of it as well. Have to be conscious as well above the waterfall, there's an area which Gavin Hardcastle calls it the triangle of pointlessness, and I think he's right. It actually has no benefit to the image, so I'm kind of finishing the shot with the waterfall in a small bit from the top of the frame. But yeah, nice shot here now. Got quite warm actually, so I had to take off my coat. I'm going to continue on up the pathway now, up towards the main prize of O'Sullivan's Cascade. So here is the main prize, which is O'Sullivan's Cascade. And I must say, I'm surprised I was never here before now because it is absolutely beautiful. I'd like to be here at different seasons because there's a lot of deciduous trees, I think, which would really add some nice color as well to the scene. Now, I didn't bring you down there with me because there was a small area, no place really to place you to record me, but I actually did a couple of different comp compositions. So I went for a kind of a standard one, which was nothing in the foreground, and I found that a bit bland. Now I did use the polarizer as well to take away the sheen in relation to that. And then on the left hand side there's some wood that's obviously fallen from above and been knocked down. I don't know how long it's there. It could be there years. It could only just come down. I'm not quite sure but it's new to me. So I use that as a foreground as well uh, on the left hand side with the main part on the right hand side of the lower part of the waterfall. And then I came down to the right hand side here and I kind of used the bank because there's a few bits of long grasses that were there as well. So I managed to capture those as well on the right hand side as they'd lead you up through the scene. Now, everything that I've done here has been focus stacking as well. I wanna make sure that the image is completely sharp the whole way through. And my shutter speeds have been anywhere from half a second to a third of a second or even as far as a half a second. Um, so this now has been you know, a great afternoon. I think I'm done now taking those shots. I hope you're coming along. Hope you enjoyed coming along on this adventure with me. If it's the first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Falls.